Welcome back to my channel, Breaking Bread. We're back today. We're gonna make a great seafood boil. It's a Sunday. Wasn't really in the mood for the traditional Sunday dinner. So I said, okay, we'll just do a seafood boil with all different seafoods. So thanks for watching. Welcome back. And just don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, notification bell, all those things so you know when I post a new video. Today I'm making a seafood boil. What we need to do is chop up some red potatoes, which I'm doing here, I'm gonna put them to the side. Um, you can use as many potatoes as you like. Right now I'm gonna put together three bags for myself, my daughter, and my husband. So we're gonna have three. So I used about six small red potatoes, quartered and put to the side. to do the steam. Each bag's going to have two um, small ears of corn, some potatoes, and then I'll add in seafood along with that and some smoked sausage. I'm actually using a Portuguese sausage today. I'm not exactly sure all, all that's in it, but there's a Portuguese store across the street from my house and I needed a smoked sausage, so I just grabbed one. Um, we're also going to add some seasoning. You're going to put about a tablespoon of onion powder, a tablespoon of garlic powder, Some Old Bay seasoning. I'm, I'm using the spicy version of the Old Bay seasoning, but you can use the original. We're going to just do some salt and pepper. And then we'll add in garlic. Um, this is going to be about two tablespoons of garlic. I love garlic, so I like to add a little bit extra, but you can add as much as you want. That right there is about two tablespoons, but if you love garlic, you can add more. And then we're going to add about a stick of softened butter also to the bag. Now, once all the vegetables and the seasonings are added, I'm just going to give it a nice shake before we go ahead and add the seafood. You just want to get it all kind of coated, get some seasoning over the whole thing. And then I'm going to go ahead and start adding in the seafood. We have um, whole Dungeness crabs. I'm going to put one in each bag. Then we're going to go with some lobster tail and lobster claws. Two claws and a tail. So a whole, pretty much a whole lobster in each bag. Um, then we're going to just do some Dungeness crab, just the legs. And then we're going to go with some shrimp. These are about a medium-sized shrimp with the peel staying on. Um, I like to keep the peel on on the shrimp because I feel like it helps absorb the flavor just a little bit better. And then I'm going to shake it all around again. Try to coat the butter and all the seasonings and everything in the bag. Get everything all nice and coated. Now once we have everything in the bag and the seasoning is nice and shaken around and coated and the butter is nice and coated on all the ingredients, we're going to tie the bag with a string. Now you definitely don't want to use plastic or anything that would melt. And these are heat proof bags. These are like um, baking bags that you can either roast in or use them for crock pot bags. But So they're able to go in hot water without melting. So make sure you get the specific bags for baking. You do not want to make the mistake of putting regular plastic. Okay, I'm just going to assemble the last two bags. Like I said, I'm going to put a good amount of potatoes, two small ears of corn, the sausage. It's just a smoked sausage. Like I said, this one is a Portuguese sausage, but you can use any kind of smoked sausage you'd like. And then we're going to do the seasoning. We have the Old Bay seasoning. Garlic. Pepper. Onion powder. salt, and then two tablespoons of garlic. This is just minced garlic. And then you're going to shake the bag again. 
get everything nice and coated. And then you'll go ahead and just add the seafood like we did before in the last bag. Now once you have your bags assembled, you're going to put it in boiling water. I have a large pot that's already boiling. We're going to get that in there and we're going to go ahead and let that boil for about 15 minutes. Now a trick to this too, if you want the time to just not overcook your seafood, you want to parboil your potatoes first. So we boil the potatoes separately before you add them to the bag because the potatoes will take a little bit longer to cook and if you let that boil the whole time in the bag, it will overcook the potatoes. I mean, it will overcook your seafood because your potatoes need a longer amount of time. So pre-cook your potatoes prior to adding them to the bag and then finish them with the rest of the seafood. Just leave that in and let that boil for about 15 minutes. Now while that's boiling, what we're going to do is make a dipping sauce. We're going to kind of make a garlic butter, um, kind of spicy, a little bit sauce for it to dip our seafood as we're eating. I love to dip. Seafood is one of those things where you get nice and messy when you're dipping. So I'm going to go ahead and just chop up about six cloves of fresh garlic. Once the garlic's all chopped, I'm going to go ahead and add some olive oil to my pan, about three tablespoons. And then we're going to add in about three tablespoons of softened butter. And we're going to go ahead and let that melt. We're actually going to add in six tablespoons, I'm sorry, of softened butter. And go ahead and heat that on a medium heat, letting that melt all together. Now once the butter is beginning to soften and heat, we're going to go ahead and add in that diced garlic that we had chopped earlier. And then we're just going to let that all go ahead and melt together until you get that nice aromatic garlic flavor, the garlic scent coming all over your house. I love that smell. Once you get the garlic and the butter and the oil heated to a rolling boil, we're going to go ahead and add in a few spices. We added Old Bay onion powder, garlic powder, and parsley. And now if you like a little heat, I added some crushed red pepper. It's totally up to you. If you don't like spicy, you can leave out the crushed red pepper. Once all the seasonings are added, you just want to remove that from the heat so it doesn't scorch. And you just continue to stir it while all those flavors. The sauce is complete. You can just pour out your bags onto a tray and enjoy. You can garnish with some citrus and it will be delicious.